Former Oklahoma Governor George Nye was recognized for his hard work and achievements during the second symposium series featuring Oklahoma governors. The series is sponsored by the Oklahoma Historical Society as well as two groups associated with the University of Oklahoma. Now throughout the symposium, those who worked with Governor Nye as well as his family members spoke about the man who handled situations with the betterment of all in mind. Most of the people here have heard the story so many times uh, because I, I love to tell it just to dig in one more time. But um, I was working back in the days when all the airlines had downtown ticket offices. I don't know if some of you will remember this, but I was working in the Skirvin Hotel uh, for TWA Airlines. And George always tells everybody he met me in the hotel, but I really was working for an airline in the hotel. It was a short romance. We met, and six months later, we were married. Now, I had been single. I was divorced. I had been single for 10 years. And I thought, what in the world am I doing getting married? You know, I had a... I had a good job, I was happy, my son and I were doing fine, and I just, I, I kind of got swept away, I think, because everybody kept telling me how lucky I was, and I thought, well, okay, maybe I better do this, and, um, but then later, when we married, and I kept trying to figure out where this lucky stuff came in, because, he had just finished a campaign and was $100,000 in debt. Now let me tell you, 50 years ago, that was just like $5 million in debt. He was $100,000 in debt. He did not have a job. He did not have a house. He did not have a car. Okay, I had a house. I had a car, I had a job, and I wasn't in debt. And I never could figure out why I was the lucky one, you know? <laughs> but as it turned out, I really was the lucky one. Now, speakers also recognized Nye as a force of unity during tumultuous times. As a result, when he was reelected in 1982, he became the first gubernatorial candidate to carry all 77 counties.